Hey everyone, this is Quimon and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today we'll be doing the RTA session right here. As you can see, my points has dropped until 1515. It's mainly because I have not been playing for the past couple of weeks uh, due to the fact that I was busy doing the casting for Comptuous for the Conqueror League mid-season, which was about two weeks ago. And last week itself, I had the Siege Battle Tournament. So couldn't really focus on the RTA yet at that point in time. So today we'll try to at least climb up a little bit. I'll probably do about five hits and call it a day. So we are starting off with the Molong here. And he runs this Chiwu and Gany. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring in my Veladrol and a Juno. I think Juno is pretty decent here. Also, I'm just trying to get my bearings right because I've not been playing Arte for so long and yeah, getting a little bit rusty. Not too sure what to pick. Yeah, I think Juno is fine here. We'll just lock her in. He goes with this Savannah. And what the. Wait, what's that? Is Celia? So it's another stripper slash stun. I remember her second skill is like an rent it's like a A I wouldn't say AoE is just like a random five hit stun or something like that. Not too sure. Because I've not made that unit. <laughs> so I'm just gonna bring in my Vert and the Antares. I think we should be good here. We ban off the last pick. Because most likely he'll go water unit there. Yep. Just gonna ban the Barbara right there. Oh, he bans my Antares. Very interesting. I needed him to do to do the damage on our side. But hopefully Juno is okay. Yeah, we do have Juno in the field. And let's just see right here. Definitely he will get the first turn Sleeve attack counter Ah, I needed Vert to counter there We only got the stun on Chiwu and no strips onto the Geni and Savannah. That's very unfortunate We have to eat the armor break right here Resets my Vela Jewel as well Things isn't looking too good on our side Oh, normal attack stuns, right? We have to work on the Isilia first, I think. Oh, that's a nice prop, but we do not have our skills. We'll try to stun here. That's very nice. I want to work on the Isilia first. Oh, another gigantic roar. I need the cleanse on Vela Jewel. My Molong is going down. Puts the block on Molong, okay. Ah, 3v4 now. Nice counter, but we only got one critical there. Stun. On the bright side, they do not have heals. So as long as my Juno can sustain the damage output coming up from their side, we might win this one. <laughs> Things isn't looking too good at the moment. 2v4. We have to kill off for double stun. Okay. Can we strip? That's good. We got double stuns onto the Isila and Gany right there. But we didn't strip. We needed the strip badly. So that Isila will be dying from the dots right now. We do not have to touch her just yet. And just continue poking on this Chiwu. I believe my Juno might be able to win. I'm not too sure. Ceiling magic again. I'm just gonna leave the Chiwu for now. We'll work on the Savannah because the Chiwu will die to the dots eventually. Can we dismount her? Okay, that's very nice. We might have a chance in this one. Yeah, the next turn Chiru moves, he will definitely die to that dot right there. And he goes for my Veladro, that's very nice. 
Great stun as well from Juno. I think we got this in the back. <laughs> ah, sucks to be him. Let's move on to our next fight right here. Let's see who we get. Hopefully, it's an easy opponent. No LDs, please. <laughs> okay, we are up against Ford SG. Just gonna go with the Molong first pick again. Mm, I know now Sierra first pick is really strong. It's mainly because of the artifacts for her. So if you have like additional damage based on X percentage, like HP, uh, attack, defense and stuff like that, um, it's actually really strong because on a crit rate build, you hit like, 3k per hit, I say. So that's almost about a 10k nuke into a bomb. Additional prop, another 10k. Get the point. So yeah, but this time, this guy isn't running any Sierra as well. So I'm just gonna go with our usual Molong Snipe tanky sustain kind of comp. And I am minded to ban off that friend right there. Okay, Chiana is actually a very good pick, but he's not doing it just yet. Ah, he chooses the Sierra instead. So now we ban off the friend, they do not have the heals. And I'm assuming he thinks I'm banning off Daphnis. So yeah, the Velajo ban is really bad for him. But of course, he has two win units right there. It's gonna be pretty close, but we do have the sustains, which is the plus side. Um, Hellfire. <laughs> Resistance on the Tyranis. So he has to go all in onto my Tyranis right here. There's no other way around it. Okay, he lands the armor break. The beauty of this is that we have a revive, the passive revive coming up from Taranis right here if he chooses to explode, which he should. Uh, very interesting. So now we'll just try to shred this Sierra. That's very nice. We landed the 3 turns armor break. <laughs> He's a little bit scared now. And my Taranis won't die from this, so we'll just try to kill off the Sierra right here. Because at the end of the day, we still do have the revive. Okay, I guess not. The increased cool time really clutch. Nice, double no crits. So we'll try to work on this vert. Ooh, can we stun? We stun the monkey. Okay. <laughs> Very good armor break onto that vert. I think we'll heal up and ooh, we'll try to kill off the Daphnis first. If we land the armor break on the first turn, very nice. So 3v1, I think my Josephine should be able to kill off that Vert right there. Yeah, about 15k nuke. Yeah, because my Josephine is on like a speed crit damage attack build. Second win. Moving on to the next fight right here. Hopefully we can get our third win in the row up against this South Korean guy with a girl display picture <laughs> so yeah locking in that meta ship unit there the Sierra mm. whenever I see this last time I always run my friend and the Gany so I think we'll just do that <laughs> but that was like few seasons ago I'm not too sure whether this is the right counter towards the Sierra first pick for now, but yeah. Hopefully we should be able to deal with it. I'm just gonna run my Barbara and Vigor here. Honestly, I'm minded to ban off that Sierra. Hmm. Etna, alright. Etna Leo? Oh. Very heavy win because of my two water units. I'm either thinking the Antares or Verdehal. Uh, if I ban the Sia right here, I think it's decent. Hmm. 
We should be able to deal with it. Should I run accuracy? Yeah, why not, right? Land our armor break. So first off, we have to kill... But the thing is, I do not have any strips now because of his... Uh, because he banned off my Barbara. Shit, man. I'm not too sure whether we'll be able to kill off the deafness right there. Maybe we just try to kill off the Juno and see what happens. I do not want to heal yet. Because if I heal, then the deafness gets to use the third skill, right? Honestly, I'm not too sure. Maybe I should have healed. <sighs> yeah, I think I misplayed this one. I think I should have healed and bank on the resistance for the deafness to straight. Because now the Atna gets the free AoE armor break. Oh shit. Wrong play by me. I think we lost this one. <laughs> ah, there's no way for us to win. Unless we can kill off that Edna. Please don't stun me. Can we armor break? Ooh, there's actually a lot of damage. But they're glancing on my Vigor. Ah. No violent prop as well. And we failed to kill. I went all in on that. If we killed the Edna right there, we might have a chance because I'll be able to heal up. I made a very, very bad misplay right there earlier in that game. Because if let's say I heal up my friend with the immunity, uh, the Edna has to strip. We do not get AoE, we do not get AoE armor break. And we do have the resistance check coming up from the deafness right there. So I think that would have been the better option. But yeah, let's just move on here. This guy goes with some Cheong Pong Chiu. Okay. This time, I think I'll just run my Bird and the Leo again. Honestly, now I'm liking the Lux Sack kind of comp. You know? With the Bird Antares. <laughs> Depending on what's his last two picks. Okay, I'll just pick my Antares right here. I think Antares is really decent. We ban off the Masha. So, triple win. And we have two Lutsack units right there, the Verdahal and the Antares. Hopefully we can get more procs on our side and we should definitely see this one true. Okay, does the Chiru strip? That's the important question. I think we only have one immunity, yeah, so... I don't think he'll be doing it. <laughs> what? He's taking the risk? For some reason. And there you go, the counter. Okay, can we kill off the Cheong Pong here? Uh, oh, that's not enough though. Ah, we'll be going to sleep. <laughs> uh, wait. A minute, why didn't he sleep? That's very interesting. Oh, he wants to place the armor brick first, okay. Kinda makes sense. But yeah, now I'll be able to kill off that Cheong Pong. And I don't think he has the damage to deal with our comp. Right? Hunters? Good additional prop. One nuke. And Leo will be able to finish off that Hathor. So yeah, I think he actually misplayed that one. We'll be doing one last SWAT right here before I call it a day because I have to rush out for dinner. So this is a C2 player, Diane C2411. Goes with the Sierra first pick. Hmm. Velajo Taranis, yeah. Ah, I hit this. He goes with this Okeanos. Which I'm actually pretty scared right now because of the fight against Sean B. <laughs> that damage Okeanos actually tilted me so badly. I couldn't really think after that. And yeah. Of course, if you guys have not subscribed to Sean B, make sure you do. 
He's a really fun lad. And yeah, I really enjoyed my time making the video with him. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick my bird here. Hopefully we can luck sack our way to victory. <laughs> it depends on his last two picks here. We are going on a very defensive route. Which I do not like because I have to ban off that Okeanos. Wow, shit, that Mina pick is actually pretty decent. Yeah, I'm just gonna ban off that Sierra and let's just hit right into this one. Hmm. We have to kill off the Mina as soon as possible. That's our only way to win. Can we get a stun? No stun! My Josephine can't prop. <laughs> and now we have to eat the armor break. Counter? Oh no. Can we provoke this Okeanos? Very nice stun. Please don't decrease the attack bar of my Veladro. That's very nice. We'll cleanse here. My Vert, I'm not too sure whether he can sustain the damage coming up from that Mina. Uh, should we just try nuke? 7,000, not enough. Crit? Uh, come on! Oh shit man, that Mina on the last hit. If we kill off the Mina, we could have won. So now my Vert dies here, my Josephine dies as well. The Okeanos will be able to reset something. Definitely the Taranis. Ah! Unfortunate, unfortunate. Last hit on that Mina. Our Velajo didn't crit. Very sad. So yeah, we won 3, lost 2 here. But I mean at the end of the day, I think we still up a decent amount of points because this guy is in C2, right? So hopefully we lose about 6 or 7 points, I'll be contented with that. <laughs> Let's just quit here. And there you have it, that's all the time we have for today. So thank you everyone for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and turn on the notifications. Alright guys, we are hitting the 5000 subscriber mark really soon. I appreciate all the people that has been subscribing to me since the start and consistently watching my videos as well. So yeah, have a great weekend everyone. Please remember to stay safe. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.